Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Carl's Tech Shed. Right, today what I'm going to show you is what I've done with my uh, web server. Uh, I think I covered this in an earlier video, uh, briefly. It's uh, an Dell PowerEdge SC1425. Um, when I got it, it was a single processor. Uh, I think it was about 2.8 gigahertz Xeon with uh, half a gig of RAM, but I've upgraded that to four gigs of RAM, which is the maximum that my 32-bit version of Ubuntu can support. Um, I've also upgraded the processor to a 3.8 gigahertz Xeon. Now, what I've done with it is, uh, well, it wasn't a case of necessity. It was simply I had a, I found a way to do it, and I thought, well, I'll give it a go. Uh, a few weeks ago, I got my new HTC One X mobile phone, and it came with an unlimited data package. Um, so what I decided to do was I set up my I set up my web server um, to host my music. As you see, I've uh, I've just crudely blanked out my IP address to my server there. Um, and what I've actually done is I've um, copied maybe three or four thousand songs into uh, into the server. I've then made it accessible from outside uh, from an outside network over the internet. Uh, I can then access it on my phone. Uh, you'll notice that the Wi-Fi is switched off. So I'll go on to there now. As you see, I've got a fair number of songs in there. Uh, these are all albums. Again, this is all running live on 3G. Uh, it's not over Wi-Fi, although I could if I wanted to. It would be much quicker, but this is just a demonstration to show that I can still access this from outside the house. So I'll go on to uh, some music there. Just hit a song, whatever I like. There we go. Click play online. I'm going to have to mute this for my YouTube video. As you see, it plays perfectly, and uh, it's 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 incredibly quick. There's almost no lag. There's no waiting. The minute the moment you click it, it starts to play. So um, that's that's what I've done with my web server. Um, what this actually gives me is it means that instead of copying songs onto my phone to listen to uh, on the train to work or something like that, I can simply log into my server, uh, play a song, and that's it. But that hasn't. That isn't where it stopped. Um, I can actually put files on there, um, give the IP address to friends and family. They can download it directly from my server. Uh, I've actually had a friend of mine who's a network engineer. I've given him the IP address um, and I told him to try and hack my server. Um, he, after 12 hours, he came back to me and said, "No, I can't. I can't seem to get into it. So uh, it all seems secure. It's all very good." So um, yeah, that's just a, a quick little video I thought I'd show you. Uh, if you want to uh, set one of these up, um, all you have to do is get, I mean, you don't need a PowerEdge or a dedicated, uh, a specialist server. You could probably even use an old desktop PC. As long as you've got a decent processor, a decent amount of memory, and um, you're running Ubuntu on there. If you install a Apache web server on there as well, you can install uh, a very small file um, in the uh, in the um, directory. You simply it, this is what it looks like here. That's all you have to enter, um, and that's for root index. So you can you can type that in. Um, you have to save it as httpd.conf conf. Um, just save that into the um, var slash www folder um, on Ubuntu and uh, that'll once you've there's a few other steps you need to do but um, you can probably find them online as I did um, on how to access uh, the IP how to access the IP from from outside your home network and um, you also need to disable your firewall, uh, add an exception on your main router, um, and pr that's pretty much it. After that, you can use um, any FTP client you like. I use Smart FTP um, to copy files, music, documents, whatever I want, onto the server, uh, and then I can just download it straight from there. 
Now, uh, on here, I'll just give you an idea of what sort of memory I'm using. Um, there's only an 80 gig drive in there at the moment, but um, it's more than enough for what I want at the moment, but I can upgrade that if I like. Um, I've got four gigs of RAM in there, and uh, it's using only 6% of four gigs of RAM, which isn't bad, um, considering I've probably got a few friends and family downloading stuff from that at the same time. Um, I've got, yeah, 92% of the hard drive is full, so I've got quite a lot of stuff on there. Uh, and I'm running Ubuntu 12.04 LTS web server. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, if you need any advice or help setting up your own web server, um, please drop me a comment or send me a message through YouTube. So, thanks very much.